Okay, so you've heard about sweet corn and why it can be an effective bait and it'll make a great alternative to boilies. So let's take a look at my sweet corn rig. This is my normal braided hair needle from Gardner. Okay, I can use it for pointing. I've got two grains of corn on there, two grains of pop-up Enterprise fake corn. Um, they're just there for rig tying. Okay, so you can get the dimensions of the rig right. And what I've done is I've made the hair long enough so that it just touches the bend of the hook when it's straight. Okay, it's a standard KD rig this. And two grains, two pop up grains of corn on there to tie it with. Uh, I've come with a knotless knot, two turns up and exited the hair and then carried on another three times and then gone back over, round and through again. So it's two turns, exit the hair, three turns up and then come back through through the eye from the back into a knotless knot and that's a bog, bog standard KD rig. Uh, the hook length is, hook length is 25 pound sink link. It's about seven, maybe eight inches long and it's terminated with just a standard universal clip that you can clip onto a swivel for quick changing your rigs. And that is basically my sweet corn rig today. It's evolved a lot over the years. Uh, it was side hooked corn with a float <laughs> when it was growing up. Uh, it turned into a hair rig, just a bog standard one with a Drennan super specialist hook. Uh, then it turned into a liner liner. And now today, um, for ease of tying and, and use, it's it's now a KD rig. Um, with the bottom piece of pop-up corn replaced with a real piece of corn, obviously you've got the smell of genuine sweet corn in the rig and the pop-up versus a standard piece of corn on the bottom will make the rig sink really slowly so it'll just sit like that on the bottom and in amongst a lot of other sweet corn eventually it'll get hoovered up and has a really really top class rig for sweet corn that it's absolutely superb